Jump guy! Yippee! The boot of life, baby. It'll stomp you down. Stomp you right to the ground. That's why. You'd be like the splinter that stabs the boot in the foot. Yeah. Then they gotta cut the giant's leg off. Sounds good. Today, we got five more trees to take down. We got a baker's dozen. Five. We got two bigums, a twin tower, and a dead one. Let's show you. Dead pine. Twin towers. We get them down. That'll be a big open area. Lots of sunlight. I like dry wood. Nice and dry. That way, burns good. Wet, sloppy wood. Blech. Oh, mucky. But then hopefully, we get them trees knocked down. Stick's got 30 more IBC totes coming. He said he wanted 100. He said he's up to 60 now. Now we gotta get this dirt out of the way. Get some pine trees transplanted, move them around a little bit. Hey, wood yard take a shape. They ain't going in this wood yard. There's going to be Waldo's Wood World. Yeah, I like that. H.W. Sticks Wood Yard. We're going to show you how it's done on the world's greatest firewood show. Yeah. Ain't none of these guys doing stuff like we do or as entertaining. Yeah, I think so. Looking pretty good, baby. Chop the trees down. Hi guys. What would the day be without starting it off with something getting destroyed? <laughs> By turtle heads. Again. Don't even know what happened. Just driving around and the hood flew up. And now it won't close. The hood's broke. And there's the little chunk down in there. Beep, 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 beep. How does that happen? It just falls off? Keep buying steel from China, people. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, I've been to OSHA classes. I've been in the big union hall things. Talking about the union say don't use any China steel. They don't have the regulations we got. This shit just breaks. There's your example. Junk. Everything's junk nowadays. Junk. You got two dump trucks over there. One from 1982, one from 2000. The one from 82, everything still looks brand new on the frame. Big giant thick steel, same weight class truck. The 2000, it's gone. It's the whole, everything's rotted away, just gone. My Jeep was the same way. I bought that Jeep Wrangler, four door. One of the first ones. When they came out with the warranty, bumper to bumper, man. Look at that warranty, you read in there? They say it does not cover rust. No rust. Because they know that that Jeep's going to rot away in 10 years. Be gone. That junk steel. That's their plan. They all got a plan. Keep everybody down. I got something for them. I got some turtle head. Mummy Chog, here. <laughs> Walking amongst the sticks. Listening to my turtle head friend talk about crap steel. Reminds me of a parable I once heard. Think of a bar of steel, a $5 bar of steel. Well, when it's beaten into horseshoes, it becomes worth $10. And now that same bar of steel, if it's beaten into knife blades, it now becomes worth like $2,000 worth of knives. If you take those same bar of steel and you beat it into springs for Rolex watches, now you just made $200,000 from that same bar of steel. The meaning of this parable 
is to say the more that that bar of steel is passed through the fire beaten pounded polished and machined the higher its value becomes so whenever you're struggling and you find yourself in the fire just remember you're being tempered for something greater you're becoming higher value the more you endure the greater your strength uh, there's no other way to put it that's that's what i got to say to the world that little parable helped me get through some of my toughest times and i believe i'm a better person because of that we're going to come through we're going to fix this little dingo here and we're going to get it get it going again because that's what we do and now for some chainsaw action the ultimate fix zip tie let's close the hood ingenuity of the old zip tie oh it's called cherry valley also made in china yeah everything is i know my log splitters made in the usa it got it stamped all over it i just looked at that dingo i don't see one not one thing that says made in the usa not one before sticks bought it he should have looked at that he don't listen to me bye or smack it sticks just another bucking day i guess we're gonna cut this big ugly thing down with the big fat butt yeah it's a big flare there so it's leaning the wrong way all the weights the wrong way probably gonna put a rope on this one just to be a little safe so we'll stick it on there and tie it off that way it can't fall backwards let's throw this rope up there We're just trying to make sure it don't fall backwards. That's all. So. We're going to rotate it. We're going to rotate it. With the swizzle. Yeah, we'll learn how to do the swizzle one day. Inbred Jed did it on a video and it was pretty freaking cool. Uh, we'll do the swizzle someday. I need some practice. Let's chop a tree down.
We had to walk him in. Walk in a wedgie. Gets her done. Walk in a wedgie. Yeah, there you go. Coin that one. Hashtag walk in your wedgie. They made that tree fall down. Good job, buddy. That was cool, huh? Scary cutting trees down. Uh, yeah, because there's like the, the potential for death of crushing <laughs> limbs and it's just... <laughs> it's it is. Put to the test. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very nerve-wracking. I'll put it like that, especially big giant things like these things. Holy Lord, wish us luck. Oh, you guys missed that one. The battery died. We actually look like we know what we're doing. We're getting better. Look at that big boy. That's it, three more. They ain't even that bad. Yippee! Them, them there two tree fellers. I fell some trees once. Burp. I can start to see the wood yard. It's coming to life. It's taking shape. Here, let's take a little peek. See what's up. I'll throw the bug in the air if the wind ever stops. It got wire in the tree. It got wire, oh boy. There goes that chain. Well, guys, here we go. We're on the last tree. It's getting windy out now, so we gotta be careful. It's getting windy. Let's take a peek. It's all one side and back. So I threw the balls over the top. I'm gonna put a rope on this one, tie it off that way. So when she starts to go, she got no choice. You going that way. You going that way. Make sure of that. Look what the tree had in it. Some kind of metal pipe, plastic PVC pipes in there. That blade shot. Well, we got the rope on. Uh -huh. I think it's gonna swing it. I think once we start to cut this, it's gonna to wanna to come back to that side, but that rope should hold it enough to swing it and probably land it right on top of all my pretty bushes that are supposed to stay. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds about right. So, let's find out. Let's chop a tree down. I'm listening to Dingo Vision as I work. I think it's stump vision maybe. Nah, stump vision or dingo vision, one of the two. That's all I like to listen to it. 
Oh boy. There you go. Perfect. Well, on that note, I need to put a new chain on here. And let my anxiety calm down a little bit. We'll keep you up to date.